Hey, should I warm? Should I warm for some FOMO? I want to give all the honors and the praises and all the glory belongs to my Lord and Savior. His name is Yahweh by Sham Yahabashai. Bahasham Mahava Ka Kwadash. Name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh. His son's name is Yahabashai. In who I reverence. Honors to the apostles that have in the Holy Spirit. And to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within these last days. All right. Hey, we're just going to flow with the Spirit. Right. I want to start off on 2 Corinthians and 4 and start at 16. This is going to be like an exhort exhortational video because we need them exhortations. Right? For which cause? The scripture says we faint not. So, we're not supposed to be fainting in terms of, oh, no, nah, I don't want to do this anymore. Even though we get tired, even though we get weak, even though we go through affirmities, scripture says we faint not. But though our outward man perisheth, perish, yet... The inward man is renewed day by day. The outward man perish. So the outward man is who you were in the world. The old man is supposed to perish. Right? And even you might not even see it. You might not see it. But Yahweh is working upon you. Okay? Yet the inward man is renewed day by day. What the inward man is what? Renew man. Right? But our light affliction is but for a moment. What we're going through now. It's only a little moment. This affliction, these trials, compared to our eternal kingdom of Yahweh by Shem Yahweh which is but for a moment, work your thoughts are far more exceeding and eternal. Keep that in mind. Eternal weight of glory. So, whatever we go through now is really nothing compared to being in the kingdom forever. That's how we got to look at it, right? Look at the end result, right? Always look at the end result, okay? Verse 18, while we're looking at the things which are seen, this is really the premise of the lesson. While we're looking at the things which are seen, so we're not really looking at and concentrating on the things that are seen, because when you do that, it can take your eyes off, your, off the prize, which is Yahweh and salvation. Right, and that's what Esau, that's what the devil wants you to do. He wants you to look at the things which are seen, the tangibles, okay, but at the things which are not seen. So, we're looking at the things which are not seen, right? But at the things which are not seen, so the things that we can't see are much more powerful, right? Even with the things that people do, and I would say this as well, yeah, brothers and sisters, bro. I don't really like to say it's a really it's a really nice day, but it but it is in terms of weather, right? The sun's beaming out here. Get out and go get your vitamin D, right? And soak up some of this sun, cause it ain't good, especially what Esau's doing now. You know he's got the 5G, he's got the satellites, he's got all these different and remember the technologies as well. It's not really good for your health, is it? Right? Trying to put a hole in. He's trying he try to put a hole in your fucking spirit, excuse me, in your flesh. So it's important you get out, get some air, right? Do a bit of exercise and we eat healthy, all these good things. But the main thing is that we want the things which are not seen. So even, yeah, we're looking at the things which are not seen, which people think we can't see. And people also do this as well. They park their cars. You know, there's also... um. I'm not going to get too into it because it's another lesson. People can park their cars, right? One car in a space of, I don't know, 10, 20 metres, maybe 40 metres. And these two cars could have what? Particular, what's the word? What's the word? What's the word? What's it? Remote, remote, remote electrics in it, basically, to give off signals. You do know people can do that, right? Where you have this technology, this ain't nothing new. So all types of things are going on. Why are we looking at the things which are not seen? We're looking at the things which are not seen. And we know what people are doing. We can read your mind. And Yahweh can. Right? 
You know when two cars are parked up, oh, what have they got in the car? You got, bro, we got to be circumspect, right? You got to be, you don't know what these people can even be having in their cars where they're parked up. They could have all types of wicked devices, but ultimately, we're not supposed to worry about that. But you have a sure can see what their stupid ass is doing, all right? Let's go to 2 Corinthians 4, right? When are they going to learn? Go to 2 Corinthians 4 and 18. Why are we looking at the things which are seen, but at the things which are not seen? For the things which are seen are temporal, right? Here one minute, gone the next, right? We're not taking nothing with us. But the things which are not seen are eternal, forever, immortal. So we want the things which are not seen. That's the things we're looking at. That's the things we want to attain forever. Things which are not seen. Okay? That's the things we're looking upon. Right? And what does this do? It puts us on a higher level, a higher frequency. The frequency of Yahweh Shai. Right? Because, yeah, they're also trying to dumb down, yes, your frequency as well. Yeah, they're pushing, yeah, bro, bro. They're pushing, and it's happening to a lot of people. They're pushing negative signals, right? And they're sending that towards you. You may say, well, how do they do it? They can do it easy. But you have a phone, right? You have a laptop, right? You have some type, you have a TV, right? You have a router, right? Well, they can push them signals your way. It's as simple as that. It's very easy. Right? They can have you in a negative vibration. They can have you in a negative mood. If you don't have the scriptures. Uh, okay. That's why you've got to stay in the scriptures. Abakashah. Right? That's why I call Esau the devil. Because he is the devil. He, he wants to alter. This is, this is the thing. That's how the devil is. Right? And that's how Esau is. If he don't understand something, he wants to change it. He wants to, he wants to alter it. Because that's how he is. Right? A narcissist. Right? Yeah, devil. Yeah, I said it. Okay. So let's go to Romans 8 and 24. Make sure. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Go to John 8 and 23. And like I said, bro, I put the up, bro, I put them prayers up. I put them prayers up. Anybody, anybody that's scheming against me or my family, any anything anybody's doing in secret. Any wickedness, I put them prayers up daily, daily that the Lord Jehovah shall deal with it because this is not a carnal battle, it's spiritual. And sometimes you just want to fuck people up, like you re really want to. But guess what? If you do that, we're going to lock you up, right? That's the whole idea. They want you to do something silly, right? Doing doing a, just a little bit of work in the front yard today, just a little bit of work. And what did they have? They had people pull up, right? They had people pull up to try and get my attention. Bro, 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 bro. Whoever's whoever's behind it, because bro, bro, there's, pe there's people making them phone calls saying, would you go here? Whoever's doing that, bro, you need to grow up. Like, what, what, do you, what do you want? What do you want? Oh, I know what you want. You want control. Because it gives them, oh, it says, oh, well, uh, bro, bro, I'm not feeding into it. I just think it's stupid. I think it's silly. And I think you're silly as well. Right? This this is these are fucking psychopaths. And you may even have someone I don't know. It could it could be it could be anyone. It could be a neighbor that has military um contacts, your family, bro, it could be anyone. But really, I don't care. My whole thing is to teach this word. If you don't like it too bad, take that up with the Heavenly Father. Well, we gotta stay in the spirit. That's why the scripture says, why are we not at the things which are seen? For the things which are not seen. That's the things we're looking at. So, even after some time, you get used to the noise campaigns. You get used to the, you know, the little signals they send your way. You get you, you adapt. You adapt. And that's what we're supposed to do. Because Yahweh Shai controls everything. Why is this happening? Yahweh Shai let it happen. I know it might sound bad. Some may say, nah, nah, nah. It's the physics. No. Yahweh Shai, because nothing can happen to you unless Yahweh Shai allows it. So we just have to deal with the situations we're in and see how we should plead our cause. All right. Excuse me just a minute. Yeah, there's people out here. They, they, they're trying to fuck up. They're trying to fuck up your, your life. They're trying to fuck up your vibe. Excuse my language. They're trying to fuck up your, your, your flesh, man. 
excuse my language. John 8 and 23. Right? And yeah, I want to say this. I had a beautiful sleep yesterday. It was beautiful. Fucking idiots. <laughs> Go to John um, 8 and 23. Right? That's what, bro, whoever's paying these people to do this dumb, dumb shit. Bro, whoever's paying these people, they, these people are desperate for your, this is someone that wants your attention. This is someone that's trying to get your attention. Right? This is what happens when you don't have the most high in your life. You would resort to such tactics. Go to John 8. And go straight to 23. And he said unto them, ye are from beneath. So that's Yahweh's mindset to the wicked Pharisees. You are from beneath. So if you say this to someone, what would they say? Oh my gosh, he's so arrogant. Well, Yahweh said it. I am from above. Because he was. Yahweh taught his men to be highly spiritual right and not to be too much focused on the things that we see here i am from above you are from, you are of this world <laughs> i am not of this world so your house said i'm from above you're from beneath i am from above you're of this world i'm not of this world that's why most people are not going to understand you most people they're not going to understand you and that's fine that's all good they're not supposed to Right? Those that do understand you, well, that's beautiful. That's a plus. Right? That is a plus. Okay? So it shows you, well, and you can't help it. It's the truth that puts you on a higher level. It's your Havisha that puts you on a higher level. And that's why you can't relate to everybody, even though you may try to, or they can't relate to you. Okay? So we're done on that. See what else there is. Oh man, it's like just there's so many there's so many things I want to talk about. There's so many things I want to talk about. This is Romans. Go to, before we go to Romans, go to Hebrews, Baba Krishna. This is Hebrews eleven. Now faith. Is the substance of things hoped for. And for the evidence of things not seen. That's what faith is. It's substance of things hoped for. Right? So, keeping faith is substance. Oh, now to this world it don't seem as substance. Oh, now make your waiting your time. Close up. Right? The world doesn't see it as substance. But the faith is substance, true substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen, so we can't see it, but it says that it's the evidence of things not seen, so we can't see it, but there's still evidence of things not seen, because you have to be spiritual to have faith, it takes a great deal of what, being spiritual, to have faith in the things that you cannot see, but you know it's there. And that's the difference between the elect and the non-elect. The elect will have faith. And that's a gift. You have faith. That's a gift. To believe in the things that you read within these scriptures. The unseen. That's a gift. Okay. Come on now. For evidence of things not seen. So we went to that. Baba Kusha. Now let's go to Romans. Baba Kisha. Romans 8 and go straight to verse 24. For we are saved by hope. I actually want to go to verse 23. And not only they, but ourselves also, which have the first fruits of the Spirit. The first fruits represent the elect, by the way. And they have the first fruits of the Spirit. The first fruits represent the elect. Even we ourselves groan within ourselves, wait for the adoption to with the redemption of our body. Right? New bodies. For we are saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope. 
for what a man seeth, why did he yet hope for? So it said, was saved by hope, but hope that is seen is not hope because you can see it. And in this world, everybody's looking for the tangible, right? Everybody's looking for tangible. But now I need to see it to believe it, right? And that's where the so called Esau and his science comes in. No, 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 no. We need to see it, we need proof. Well, I'm sorry, not every, not everything, bro, you have to be real carnal. Everything you see, you need proof. Well, if you're that type of individual, then you're going gonna to have a hard time having faith. Right? Remember, faith is the things, what the substance of things hoped for but not seen. Come on now. Hoped for but not seen. Okay. So hold on, is there anything else? Yep. But hope that is seen is not hope because you can see it. So there's, there's there's not much there's not much hope in it. You can see it. For what a man see? Why did he yet hope for? Hmm? For what a man see? Why did he yet hope for that? If he sees it, then it wouldn't be classed as hope as faith. Can you imagine if you knew you you were of the elect? Can you imagine if you just knew? You'd be sitting back. <laughs> You'd just be sitting back. Right? Can you imagine that? What 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 does a man hope for? If he already seen, he already read that again. Right? For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for? So what a man already sees, why is he gonna hope for it? Hmm? If you already see it. Right? But if we hope for that we see not, then we with patience wait for it. So that what what do you think we're doing? We're waiting with patience. For everything that's written within these scriptures, we're waiting. All these words to come true, because it is going to come true. Everything that's written, in, and people are going to find it out. All right? And it says, Baba Kasha, Baba Kasha. Likewise, the Spirit also helpeth our affirmities. All right? Key thing as well, the Spirit helps our affirmities, our sicknesses. For we know not what we should pray for as we ought, but the Spirit itself makes intercession for us with groanings which cannot be uttered. Right? And he that searcheth your hearts knoweth what is in the mind of the spirit because we make it intercession for the saints according to the will of the most high. Right? So the spirit also makes intercession for us and the angels. Right? And the angels what carry that are groaning, are complaining. Righteous complaining, by the way. Right? That gets back to the heavenly father, Yahweh, away, how shy. And he's Okay, and he carries that to the Heavenly Father and he pleads our cause. Everything that's happening in our lives, Yahusha pleads our cause. Yahusha is our judge. Right? He's pleading our cause. He's the one that's justifying us. Right? So, as the premise of this lesson was, you are, you are from, I am from above, you are from beneath. And the elect are from above. <laughs> They're on a higher wavelength. Right? And we need to, Lord willing, the Lord Jehovah keeps us on that higher wavelength. Right? Now Esau, he's trying to prevent that. That's why he has to do silly, silly stuff. Silly noise campaigns. That's why he needs to surround you with um, mentally um, retarded, backwards, right? Um, compromised, right? No care in the world individuals because remember what he's trying to do he, he wants you to be in that low low state and he knows if you're surrounded if you're completely surrounded by negativity well what can that do lower you but but guess what that's why i read that scripture why are we looking at the things which are seen <laughs> so yeah how do we overcome it through the scriptures Whatever Esau sends our way, we're going to overcome it with the scriptures. Right? That's what we're gonna, going to do. Lord willing. Overcome it with the scriptures. Okay? That's why he needs to do that. That's why he needs to send people with motorbikes to make noise. Because he knows that's a low vibration. He doesn't want you on your high. He doesn't want you on your higher self connecting with your higher shine. Right? And the devil's like that because the devil knows he, he's already done. The devil ain't going to be free. Right? And he's looking for as much souls as possible. But the elect are from above. Right? 
<laughs> and the world is from what below right they're carnal they don't understand the spiritual things of of Yahweh said me right they don't understand salvation they don't understand wanting to do the right thing to the best of your ability right all they understand is revelry wickedness and that's it and lying deceit falsehood acting theater street theater <laughs> that's all they know right? but us we're supposed to be on a, a higher level not to sound arrogant but we are supposed to be on a um, higher level especially the more we increase within this truth okay so with this i hope this is edifying and until the next one shalom to the hopeful elect shalom